Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course we are going to another topic today and that is the topic of radioactivity. Alright, so please if you have not liked this video for any reason, please click on that like button immediately now before you continue. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button and do not forget to share this video. Okay, alright, so uh, today I'm going to talk about what radioactivity and do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. I'm going to see a question from the app uh, right now continue, uh, pertaining to radioactivity. This is a 2022 question, number 22, okay, and it says... Dash is the spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom. Dash is the spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom. A, radioactivity. B, radiation. C, emission. D, decay. Okay, so there are thousands of this kind of questions about radioactivity and more on the O3 School Jam app. So please go to the Play Store immediately, download this application, as it has all you need to succeed in your exam. As for the past question, question side feature, classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus. Okay, mock UTM challenge every Saturday. You participate, compete with your mate, win prizes. All right, get you to jump past and likely exam questions. Also, see your result released every Saturday. So, it builds your confidence towards the main exam. Activation is just for a little fee. So, please pay the sacrifice. Do not be stingy to yourself. Activate the app and start practicing your way to success. So, what is radioactivity? Okay, so radioactivity is what is the spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom. Okay, so say what radioactivity? Radio activity is the spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom. Okay, we say that is what radioactivity, the what spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom. That's what say radioactivity is. Okay, we can also say radioactivity is the what emission of radiations. Okay, from a substance. Okay, we can also say that radio radioactivity, radioactivity is the emission of radiations. Okay, from a substance okay so radioactivity is the word emission of what of radiations from a substance now if this emission if this emission is spontaneous okay if this emission is spontaneous is spontaneous we call that radioactivity natural radioactivity natural radioactivity if the radiation is what uh, spontaneous if the emission of radiation is spontaneous we call that radioactivity natural radioactivity by spontaneous we mean that what it is occurring naturally okay it is occurring naturally it is not induced or caused okay by spontaneous we mean it is what occurring naturally it means the word the emission of radiation is not not induced or not what caused by what by anything okay it's just what occurring what naturally that's what spontaneous here means so that's why i say if the emission of radiation is what spontaneous we call it natural radiation uh, 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 rational radioactivity but on the other hand where by the emission of radiation okay is caused by bombardment is caused by bombardment bombardment or in the other hand, whereby it is what induced, or whereby it is what it is caused. Okay, we call that type of radiation what artificial. Uh, we call that that kind of what radioactivity what artificial radioactivity, radioactivity. All right, so please take note of that. All right, so that is what artificial radioactivity when it is what caused by what by bombardment or caused by what induction, okay, or when it is caused, it is called what artificial radioactivity. All right, so now I'm going to what look at natural radioactivity and artificial radioactivity. Also, we'll look at the term specific activity, all right, before what we end with this class. All right, so please let us go to natural radioactivity. Natural radioactivity. Radioactivity began in 1896, okay, by a man called Henry Becquerel. 
okay, radioactivity began by Eric Becker in the year 1896. Okay, so we say that what radioactivity began with Henry Becker. Henry Becker in the year what 1896. Okay, so uh, other pioneers, other pioneers as it relates to radioactivities includes what Maria and Pere Curie. Okay, these two uh, husband and wives, okay, Maria and Pere Curie. Okay, other, there were other pioneers in the field of, of radio activity. But radio activity began with this man, Henry Becker, in the year what, 1896. Okay, and the unit of what? The unit of radioactivity is Becker. Okay, the unit of radioactivity, unit of radioactivity. Is the what is the Becker? Okay, which is what B E Q. Okay, this is the unit of what of radioactivity. All right, but on the other hand, the unit of activity. Okay, the unit of activity, activity is the what is the Curie. Okay, please take note of that. All right, the unit of activity is the what is the Curie. All right, why the unit of radioactivity is the Becker? This means that what that activity and radioactivity they are not the same. Okay, activity and radioactivity are not the same. Why radioactivity is the emission of radiation from a what from a substance measured in Becker? Okay, radioactivity is the emission of radiation from substance measured in Becker. Activity, on the other hand, is the number of disintegrations. We say activity, please let me take, put that down so that it will be clear. Activity is the number of disintegrations or nuclear transformation. Of a given quantity of material per unit time. Per unit time. All right? So, this is what activity. Activity is the number of disintegrations or nuclear transformation of a given quantity of material per unit what time. That is what, uh, what, what activity is. Okay, why? Uh, radioactivity is the emission of radiation from a substance. Emission of radiation from a substance that is what? Measured in what? In Becker. Okay? Measured in Becker. So, thus, simply put, activity is the rate of what? Radioactivity. Okay? So, we can simply put it that or that activity, activity is the rate of radioactivity. All right, so please take note, do not confuse both of them. Activity is not the same as what, as radioactivity. So we can say that activity is the rate of what of radioactivity. Now, having seen this now, that will not take us now to the, another term, we talk about specific activity. Okay, specific what, activity. I will say specific activity is the activity of one gram of a radioactive substance. Okay, we say specific activity is the activity of one gram. Okay, we say specific activity. Specific what? Uh, specific activity is the activity of one gram of a radioactive substance. Okay, so we say that specific activity is the activity of what? Of one gram of what? Of a radioactive or substance. That means what? Activity per unit what? Gram. Okay, That's, that means what? Specific activity is what? Is activity per unit gram. All right, so it's as simple as A, B, C. Okay, that means our specific activity is what? Activity per unit gram. Okay, so now radioactivity is also measured in, uh, apart from it being measured in Becker, we can also measure uh, radioactivity in disintegration, disintegration per seconds. That is what we call DPS. Okay, so apart from uh, Becker, we can also measure our radioactivity in what in disintegration per seconds. And please take note that uh, that uh, 
disintegration per second, the DPS I'm talking about now is equal to what? The same thing as what? As one becquerel. It's the same unit with what? With uh, radioactivity, okay? We said that what? Radioactivity is measured in becquerel. It's also measured in what? Disintegration per second. It means that what? That one becquerel, one becquerel, okay? Is what is one DPS, okay? Uh, also, it is very important to know that what that three point seven what DPS three point seven times ten raised to power ten DPS is what one curie. All right, please take note of what of this what units, okay? So one becquerel is one DPS three point seven times ten raised to power ten DPS is what is one curie. All right, take note of what of these conversions. All right, in case an examiner want to confuse you with units, do not be perturbed. All right, so there are other what units uh, that are used for for measuring what activity. Like for example, we have the millicurie, millicurie. Okay, we also have another unit called the megawatt becquerel, becquerel. Okay, this one the other units that are used for measuring what activity. All right, so we have seen natural uh, natural radioactivity. We have seen specific activity. Now let's talk about what artificial radioactivity. We have said earlier that what when what emission of radiation is what induced or is caused by bombardment. All right, we say that is what artificial radio. Activity. So artificial radiation is the emission of what of radiation. So let's look at what artificial radio activity. Okay, I will say that what the artificial radio activity is the emission. Okay, artificial radio activity is the emission. Of radiations of radiations by the bombardment bombardment of a naturally occurring isotope okay is the bombardment of all radiation by sorry the emission of radiation by the bombardment of a naturally uh, occurring what isotope using subatomic Particles using subatomic particles or high levels of alpha or what gamma gamma radiations. Okay, so this is what artificial what radioactivity. So bombardment. Okay, it is induced. Okay, we say that uh, is the word artificial radioactivity is the emission of radiations. Okay, by the bombardment of a naturally occurring isotope, a naturally occurring what isotope? All right, using subatomic what particles? All right, or high levels of alpha or gamma what radiation? So that is what artificial radioactivity is about. Okay, so uh, in other words, it is also called what since it's artificial it is also called what induced radioactivity induced radioactivity okay so in other words artificial radioactivity is also called what induced radio since it is caused okay since it is what caused by what by bombardment of a naturally occurring isotope okay using subatomic particles or high levels of gamma or uh, or alpha radiations we call it what induced what radioactivity it is induced means what it is caused okay it means it does not what occur naturally all right so in uh, in clear simple term what it means that we have what a non non radioactive substance when we have a non radioactive substance, okay, then we now bombard it. Bombardment. Okay, when we bombard it, bombardment, then we now have what? A radioactive substance. Radioactive substance. Okay, so we have what? A non radioactive substance. That is what? A, a, a substance, an isotope that's what occurring naturally. Okay? And in naturally what occurring what substance, okay, is what bombarded. So it now becomes what what a radioactive or substance. Okay, so please understand what uh, what artificial radioactivity is about. Okay, that means it does not occur what naturally it was created. Created from what? A naturally occurring non radioactive or substance. Okay, it was created from a naturally non what radioactive or substance. Okay, so thus the radioactive element formed. The radioactive element that is formed here, or the radioactive substance that is formed here, is called what? An artificial element. 
artificial element. The radioactive element that is formed, okay, after the bombardment of a non-radioactive substance, okay, to not give what the radioactive substance is called what, a, what an artificial what element, okay, and these elements are those elements you see in the periodic table from element number eighty-three to the end, eighty-three to the end. So especially the what the latinite and the actinite series, okay. If I follow that class on periodic table, that should be an easy cake. All right, so please, that is what. What uh, that is what uh, uh, artificial radioactivity is about is the emission of radiation by the bombardment of a naturally occurring isotope using subatomic particles or high levels of alpha or gamma radiation. Okay, we say it is also called what induced radioactivity since it was caused by bombardment. Okay, we say it is induced. Okay, so when you have a naturally occurring non radioactive substance being bombarded, we're now going to have a radioactive substance or element. And the element that is so formed is called an artificial element. And they are found from element 83 to the end on in the what? In the periodic table. So before we go, I'm going to what, take a question from the app, the question we're looking at, and then we'll be done with this class as we continue in the next episode. So 2022, number 22 says, that is the spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom. And simply A, say radioactivity, B, say radiation, C, emission, D, decay. Correct answer there is what is radioactivity. Okay, so I want to see in the next episode we'll start talking about what radiations. Thank you for watching. I will see you there.